I cannot believe GM did this for the three quarter ton segment. You can basically make your 2500 a 3500. Let me explain. Welcome back to JB Reviews. I found the 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 Denali. And let's just say first impressions are pretty darn good. Now before we get started, I need to show you guys the headlight animations. Check this out. Isn't that pretty cool? Now this truck was already sold. I am at Jerry Signer Buick GMC here in South Jordan, Utah. Be sure to ask for Brody if you are in the market. He's a great salesperson and knows a lot about these trucks. Let's get into it. Now this is the winner sticker for the truck we're gonna be reviewing today. Here's the spec and the colors. And then this is a short listing of the standard equipment that's available. This is basically a Denali Ultimate. The only thing that changes is just the interior design and a few other options. But standard price is gonna be 732. And here's some of the optional equipment. Has a lot of good options on here. And the one I'm gonna talk about later in the video is a max trailering package. Now destination is at $1895 with a total price of $88,890. So GMC continues to make their grills bigger and bigger. And I like the overall styling of the front end. Now, I did notice on the Chevy 24 HDs, they did make the hood scoop a little bit bigger, but this one does not look much bigger than the previous one on my 2023. But overall, you do have a front facing camera with a sprayer right there. Parking sensors up front. I love the attention to detail like right here. So this is just an accent trim piece with a fog light down below. And something that GMC's never had in the past was whether you had a 2500 or 3500, but they do put that on the side now. Really great attention to detail there. And it's actually in a nice spot too. So let's go ahead and turn on the headlights so you guys can see that. And then we'll move over to the side. So here are the headlights right there. You have a dual beam projector. One's gonna be used for high beam and low beam. And typically they use one for like reflective, for like signs. And then down below is your fog light. But here's a look of what it looks like on the garage door here too. The fog lights go out pretty far. But overall, great styling. Let's check out the turn signal. So here's a turn signal. Has a nice switch back to it. Here's the back. And then this is gonna be for your high beam. And just really quickly, just check out the hood. Really nice lines. And then off to the side, I'm still trying to get my thoughts on the 20 inch wheel here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section of the 20s. I don't know what I think yet. But overall, this is gonna be the Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runners. 275, 65, 20, 3,750 pounds of capacity, and that's at 80 PSI. Independent front suspension with retro shocks. You do have your engine block heater plug right there. And then check out your badge. And then the mirrors, you see your Denali badge down below. And I'm surprised that this truck does not have the smart key for the front and rear doors. My AT4 had that for 2023. And here's just the back of the mirrors with the reverse light for your trailer. This does have the power deployable running boards. And they do have a chrome trim piece right there. And they have lights below. Now on the back, this is a six foot, 10 inch bed basically. 36 gallon fuel tank and seven gallon for DEF. They still provide the steps on the side, which looks great. Now, as I just said in the title, this is pretty awesome. So GM now offers a package for basically like a high capacity and it has two overload leaf springs. So this is basically the suspension that you would see on a 3500 and the frame I believe is also different. So they do up the numbers for axles, things like that as well. So that's a really cool addition for this truck. And then out back, you guys can see, you do have two cameras and it's gonna be full LED sliding glass there. And out back, the taillights are slightly different from 2023.
And this is nothing new. Multi-pro tailgate. And they do provide a handle on the side here. Four and seven pin connector with your fifth wheel prep package there. And parking sensors, class five receiving hitch. This one does have the two inputs for your camera view right there. And a seven pin. So for 2024, GM did update the L5P. This is basically the Gen 2 L5P. And what they did was they did lower low end torque by 25%. They did updates to the combustion and turbo, which is why this does have more horsepower and torque. So you're looking at 470 horsepower and 975 pound feet of torque. Still made it to the stamp approved Allison and quite honestly guys i've driven this a few times and the power is pretty great so be sure to check out some other videos there if you would like to see some of the driving impressions now as far as this interior goes this refresh is pretty big they pretty much restyled the door cards everything and one thing i like about this is the attention to detail like the stitching and you have soft touch where you like it at and then check this out on this wood trim piece it goes from light all the way to dark really good accent there and something that they did for the denali and denali ultimate was in order to break up some of this hard plastic they added this like leather trim piece inside of here looks really nice and it provides storage in the door too now for your seat controls they do give you this polished look around them and they didn't have to do that because you don't normally see this down below and here's your trim right here for the door and then here's all your controls. You have electronic parking brake, full drive system, driving modes with tow haul, and here's for your lighting too. Heads up display, it does have a 15 inch heads up display, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and a 13.4 inch cluster in the center there. But check out the seats. They are perforated leather, nice stitching. Now I did notice that it gave you Kind of like a lighter roof but it's like a dark gray so you don't notice it if it was any lighter you would be like what the heck but all in all it does look good though so let's go ahead and close the door let's see how it sounds nice quality there but check this out too look <sighs> this is nice guys like this looks so good and one thing i wanted to see from gm was a power steering column but I think because of the shifter that's probably why they can't do it maybe but it is telescoping as you just saw push button starts right there if you hit it once it puts you in accessory mode and if you hit it again with your foot on the brake it starts it up like the new sounds too by the way but let's go through this really quickly so what I like most about this system here is that it's fully customizable that's why you like these digital gauge cluster so let's go all the way to the end there to the settings so you can change you can go out of the classic or progressive for the gauges and so that's more of that progressive look you also have a digital and then you have a clean look too now if you go back to classic or progressive they do provide like information that you can see in the center there. So you can have your compass, your time and temp, tire pressure, fuel economy average, transmission fluid, and then you can do the exact same thing on the right side too. So you can do the drive modes, which you see right there, compass, time and temp, which is good to see there. And then it doesn't stop there. You can still change what you see down below. So you can see the least amount of information by picking minimum or medium or maximum. So you can see more gauges there and here's some of the information you see for their info so you have your miles per hour drive summary they also provide a trip one and trip two timer tire pressure driver assistance for like your radar cruise control things like that oil life brake pad life air filter life fuel filter life diesel exhaust fluid and then they have a blank page now you do have other information that you can select so let's, let's select that one there and 
off-road. And who wouldn't like to see transmission fluid? So here is transmission fluid right there. Off-road, fuel filter life, and then this is the fuel economy. And they did restyle this, that's why I want to show that to you. Now on this side, one thing about this screen that you're gonna have to get used to is hitting the home button. That kind of finds where you are. So if you're in the maps or something like that, if you get lost, all you gotta do is hit the home button. So just keep that in mind. Same thing goes for audio or anything that you're in, just hit home. You can't swipe it here. They do provide the climate controls inside of the screen. You can push on like that, or you can control them down below. They provide your heated and ventilated seats. It is a little warm outside right now. And of course they have a spot for your trailer. You can set this up. You can just hit add new trailer. You can name it. You can set the trailer brake, things like that. But we won't go through all that right now. And this is gonna be for your phone. It is a little delayed, I'll be honest. And then of course you guys saw your navigation there. Now one thing I want to show you guys, I'm gonna hit home again. I love the fact that you have split screen. That's what I love about this. So if you wanna look at other information here and then have like your trailering up, you can do that. I love that they gave that information to you on the side there, it's just easy. And you also have this arrow here that you can, you know, pick other things. Or if you want to have a, you know, a actual clock right there, analog clock is what they call it. They also provide the temperature and time up there too, so you don't really need the clock here if you don't want it there. Here's some of the controls above, and you do have that digital rearview mirror, and then as I said, heads-up display. But check out the dash again, stitching. This is all leather wrap, has a nice accent. And see how that wood trim piece here, again, fades from dark to light. Really nice attention to detail. They're finishing this in Velcro. And as you guys saw, you have this down below. I hope you guys can hear, these seats are kind of loud for the ventilated seats. Exhaust brake, lane keep assist, parking sensors, you can drop the tailgate, caution lights, traction control, and downhill assist. Storage just below here. Two USBs, trailer brake, cup holders. You have your wireless charging for your phone. Two more USBs, type A, type C. And then you have a power plug and then removable storage in the center here. Here's the passenger side. I don't know if I showed that to you guys. But yeah, overall, really nice interior. I didn't show that to you guys, but you do have the sunroof. We'd like to see a panoramic sunroof at some point. Now let's go ahead and check out the back too. So out back, pretty much have the same design on the door cards. 6040 bench. They do provide the storage in the back. Storage below the seat there. Heated seats for outboard. Two more USBs, air vents. Tons of cup holders. And yeah, here's the roof. Has a bump out for more headroom out here, which is good for the tall people. And you can drop these headrests down if you need more visibility out the back window. I cannot believe GM did this for the three quarter ton segment. You can basically make your 2500 a 3500. Let me explain. So right now, they upped the GVWR from 11 350 I believe it was to 11750 they also give you a 7250 pound gross axe weight rating out back that's basically the same as a 3500 now that doesn't mean you can tow a 3500 size trailer it just means that you have an overbuilt 2500 so gross combined weight rating is 30,000 and your curb weight, this is a heavy truck, 8,418 pounds, and that's because of the frame, the suspension, the axle rating, so it's gonna have a 12 inch ring gear. A lot of stuff has been upgraded to make this truck basically overbuilt. And so you have a 3,332 pound max payload. So that payload does seem kind of low when you consider a 3,500 because they have a 12,100 pound GVWR. So 20,000 pound conventional towing, 21.6 for gooseneck. This is a built 2500. But I hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out to Jerry Signer Buick GMC here in South Jordan, Utah. This truck is sold and whoever bought it, they built it right. 
See you guys in the next video.